Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my January of 2022 budget. So let's get started. All right, so things will be looking a little different in this video as far as my usual setup. Normally I have my happy planner um, out with my pages cut and trimmed and hole punch for the happy planner. But I did decide for this year to switch back to an Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner. I'm waiting to receive that in the mail and then I also purchase a bunch of stickers from, from Romita Rosa because I will be going back to um, sticker planning. I mean I use stickers anyway but like as far as my budget sheet layouts I'm going to go back to using uh, stickers for that just because I kind of miss it and I like how things are just like you know, nice and neat, colorful, blah, blah, blah. Um, I do like my budget sheets. I'll probably like go back and forth throughout the year between using my budget sheets and my planner because, you know, buying stickers monthly can get expensive. So it'll, it'll most likely depend on how I'm feeling each month on, you know, purchasing stickers each month from various sticker shops. Right now, um, I'll probably be sticking with Romina Rosa because I did buy stickers stickers from her for the month of January and February. So when I get those stickers in, I'm going to set up the month of January. Um, but you guys will see basically all my numbers and what I need to um, budget for in this video for the month of January. And then when I get my new planner and stickers, I'm just going to put it all together off camera and then, you know, resume that way. But you guys will already know all of the expenses that's taking pl place for the month as far as me budgeting it out in this video. All right, so basically um, I am just using up stickers I currently have since I'm waiting on my new stickers to arrive. So the stickers I'm using today are from various shops which include Erica Life Vlogs, Scribble Prints Co, um, Nikki Plus 3, and I think Happy Prints. All of those shops are on Etsy and I will have most of the shops linked down below, but forgive me if I don't. Um, but again, I'm just using these stickers up just because I'm waiting on my new stickers to arrive as well as my new planner. And that also explains why I didn't bother cutting out the sheets properly because I just didn't, I'm sorry. So I hope everything's in frame for these next few videos because again, I'm just filming it, filming right now since it's, you know, um, we're on January 10th and I do need to get this content out to you guys. So I'm just using what I have for right now and then once I get my new stuff, I'll resume filming with the new planner, stickers, blah, blah, blah. And I'll just show you guys, you know, how everything is set up. So you'll see that is exactly the same information. It will just look different. So anyway, let's get into this video. So as you guys can see, I have more build you stickers than normal. So for the month of January and most likely February, but that could change. Um, I will be taking care of all of the expenses between my boyfriend and I for these two months, January, February. Um, basically my boyfriend is in the process of getting a new job. We're just waiting for him to start. Um, he already went through all the necessary hiring process. We're just waiting for him to start. So based on when he actually starts and then he gets his first paycheck, he will resume this expenses, paying for the expenses he normally takes care of. But right now for at least January and February, I'll be taking care of um, everything. So that's why there's more stickers than normal. All right, so um, mortgage is represented by this house sticker right here from Erica Life Vlogs. So I'll just write the amounts in the um, monthly budget sheet for this one. But then for the bill due, this is representing Verizon that you guys are already aware of that I normally pay, which is the cable and internet bill. So Verizon, I normally budget out $121. So I'm just put 121. And then the next bill due will be on the 6th and that will be for Netflix and Amazon Prime. So for Netflix, we budget about $15 and for Amazon, we budget about um, nine. So combined, that will be $24. 
All right, on the 7th, my phone bill with T-Mobile will be due. So T-Mobile, and I normally budget out $95. Also on the 7th, I'll have my first payday of the month, as well as a cash stuffing. Next on the 10th, I'll have my water bill due, which is going to be approximately $290. Due on the 10th. And then after that, the next bill will be due on the 16th, which is for HBO Max. So HBO Max. And we are budgeting out $16 for that. On the 17th, we used iTunes Music. So iTunes Music for a family plan. We budget out $15 or $16, but I'm going to just... 16 and then on the 20th the next bill due is audible and that we budget out $16 on the 21st I'll have my second um, paycheck and then another cash stuffing then on the then on the 22nd I have um, a credit card bill due and I will explain those transactions in my um, is it in my week one check-in either my week one or week two check-in but you guys will hear all the individual transactions I was making basically I was just saying YOLO and just buying stuff so this will be for my um, credit card in the amount of $265, so not humongous, but you know, it's technically dead. On the 23rd, oh, we have um, Disney Plus due. Disney Plus, and that will be in the amount of $8. We are budgeting utilities. Um, technically I have a credit. So basically for my utilities, um, this covers like gas and electric. Um, uh, I'm on an equal payment plan where I normally pay $201 a month for an entire year, just so I can have a fixed payment all year long. And basically during the su summer months, I build up credit so that when it gets to the winter months, when I have the heat on, on constantly, it, you know, the bill will be higher than normal as far as the actual but my regular payment will still be the 201 but because of the summer months or the warmer months when i don't have the heat on running constantly i build up credit so um i believe my bill for january because january is my balancing month because i start over every february for the year um i believe my 201 payment for january will be zero because i do have a or at least for in December my credit balance was like over $300 so I don't believe I'll actually get billed in January so I'm just going to write zero for now and then you know if I do have to pay something which I really really hope I don't I'll just change this if necessary so basically because January is the balancing month ending my one year payment plan um, whatever my actual bill is will be due for January for you know usage from um december so i think my credit amount was like 366 dollars so if the actual bill is less than that then i won't owe anything but if it's more then i'll just have to pay the difference all right and then the last bill of the month is sprint and this is my boyfriend's cell phone and i believe we are budgeting um, $95 for him as well. And I'm just looking at my little cheat sheet off to the side to make sure that is everything. All right, so these are all of the bills that I need to take care of for this month. Paydays will be the 7th and the 21st. And along with those um, paydays, I will also be making debt snowball payments. And you guys will see those amounts in my um, paycheck budget videos. And yeah, so right now we're just going to go ahead 
and do my monthly budget so let me just clear this out the way all right so here is my january monthly budget sheet so this time i'm going to just break things uh break everything down a little differently instead of just doing a full salary for the whole month i'm just going to do paycheck one paycheck number one paycheck number two um so yeah right here i'm writing down my income sources sorry for not explaining um i will also be expecting a youtube paycheck this month youtube and then i also have two more things one is because my water bill was due in January, I had to um, deposit my sinking fund water bill into my account so that I can make that payment. So I'm going to say water bill sinking fund. And then last but not least, I did roll over an amount from December. So I'm going to just call this December's rollover. And this rollover went towards that. All right, so for paycheck one, um, for the ending of 2021, I did get a pay increase. So now I am expecting $3,017.92 uh, for my paychecks. We did get a little bonus at the end of last year, which was great. So $3,017.92 is the expected. For YouTube, I am expecting $104.65. For my water bill sinking fund, that total saved was $213. And if you call th with the water bill that I budgeted was $290, so the bill was more than what I saved up. So I will need to add some money for my paychecks to make up the two the difference of the $290 from the $213. And I will get into why the bill was more in a second. So for December rollover, I was able to roll over $52.12. And when I say rollover, this is the amount that was left over from week one of January. So technically that video isn't up yet, but once I do upload it, it will make sense. So basically I had money left over for my cash envelopes. And that amount I'm rolling over into a debt snowball payment. So I'm just marking it here. So when we do my final numbers uh, to see how much I'm able to put towards debt, it will add up correctly. And I'm able to do this now just because we're well into, Jan into January. So all of my January videos are a little late. All right. So for a quick total, we have 3017.92 times 2 plus 104.65 plus the 213 and plus the $52.12. So that means for this month, I am working with $6,405 with um, 61 cents. And for my fixed expenses, I'm just gonna go ahead and write all the expenses you see me um, write down in the monthly view, so one second. Um, real quick, I wanted to mention for Morgan and Verizon, I do like to pay the uh, bills for the beginning of the month with the last paycheck from the previous month. So technically on the calendar view, the mortgage and Verizon was paid with paycheck number two from December. So what I'm budgeting out for right now is for uh, the beginning month of February. And then also wanting to mention my phone bill that's due in February is due on the 7th. So I won't make that payment until February 4th, which will be my first paycheck from February because I like to basically pay bills based off the pay period. So for the pay period in January, which is from the 7th through the 20th, I'll pay all bills between those two dates. And then from paycheck two, which is January 21st through February 3rd, I'll pay all bills between those two dates. So because my February phone bill due on the 7th falls outside of February 3rd, I'm going to use paycheck number one from February to do to make my phone bill payment for T-Mobile. So I'm not going to include that here. Mortgage, this is normally budgeted for 1064. 
Verizon is 121, Netflix is 15, Amazon is 9, water bill we're budgeting 290. And sorry if this is sloppy and all over the place. I'm just discombobulated since my videos are so late. So again, I apologize. After that, we have HBO Max due on the 16th and we're budgeting $16. Then we have iTunes Music due on the 17th, we're budgeting $16 as well. Audible due on the 20th, budgeting $16 again. Disney Plus due on the 23rd budgeting out eight dollars and then utilities um i believe i don't owe anything this month so i'm going to leave that off as well and then we can put down the sprint phone bill due on the 29th for 95 dollars And let me make sure I'm not skipping anything unnecessarily. I'm going to write the credit card bill over here. So let me get these totals. All right, so we have 1064 plus 121 plus 15 plus 9 plus 290 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus eight plus 95 is 1650. All right, for variable, I'm gonna just write this first so I don't forget to write it down, which is the credit card due on the 22nd and it's about $265 owed. So for my cash envelopes, I need to budget out gasoline, groceries, and laundry. Gasoline will get $160. Groceries, I bumped this up this month. It will get $650. Laundry will get its usual $30. And then for my sinking funds, I am budgeting out $456 this month. Personal spending. I'm giving myself my usual $500 for the month. And then this month, I'm also starting saving challenges. I did purchase the savings challenge book from, or I should say printable because I didn't get the actual book, but I got the saving challenge book from um, Taylor Budgets. And I will be participating in some saving challenges this year, so. I need to budget $578. And again, I'm just checking to make sure this is everything. I do need to put aside a buffer on my account in the amount of $364.84. And then what I have left over should be my death snowball payment. All right, so let me do this total. So 265 plus 160 plus 650 plus 30 plus 456 plus 500 plus 578 and plus 364.84 gives me a total of 3,000. And this is a lot. $3,003.84. Goodness gracious. All right, so hopefully I did all that math correctly. Um, so total income, just for the budget breakdown, I'm looking at 64.05 with 61 cents. I need to put aside $1,650 for my fixed expenses. 
and then I need to put aside $3,003.84 for variable expenses, and I don't plan on any unbudgeted. So for a final breakdown towards um, a debt snowball payment, I am looking to pay $1,751.77 this month. So hopefully I can make that happen. So um, that is everything I have for today's video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and, sus and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.